true tale from history. This is, uh, <clears throat> happened in uh, a year uh, that what came previously, and I don't know how to really finish this lie, so I'll just go ahead and start the story. <laughs> so, one day, near Tierra del Fuego, where wind and wave whip round Cape Horn, there came a rascal, a rapscallion, a vagabond sailor. This tattered Amalian, known for the trouble he caused wherever he chose to live, made his way to the dock to see what wit mischief could be made. His meandering path led him to the presence of the gunner's mate of the good ship Amelia. That's actually true. That was a ship that was around Cape Horn uh, at this time. A curmudgeon of an old salt, he immediately began to chastise the ragamuffin for his ragged, bedraggled state. Sir, our scraggle tag hero clutched his chest. Your words do but tear at my heart and bring a tear to my eye. <clears throat> For I came here to present a challenge that may enrich you not only, not only your coffers, but your reputation as well. Well, if that be the case, name the game and we'll wager a bet, said the gunner's mate, the glisten of gold in his mind. A contest of range is what I presume. My bow against your cannon, spike versus lead. As a prize, I will wager this. And from his ragged satchel, the rapscallion produced a pearl of such size the gunner's greed grew greatly. Confident that his cannon could outshoot even the heaviest bow. <clears throat> if you best me, rascal, the bold brass compass of this ship shall be yours. Ah, best of three the contest will be. You will shoot after me. The longest shot, the winner, will be. Thus, with the rules set, the contest began. Round one began with the vagabond loosing an arrow whose flight was straight and true for what must have been half a league. While your, <clears throat> while your quarrel a distance flew, my powder and ball will outshoot you, the mate smiled and sneered. The match to the touch hole applied, and out from the barrel the cannonball boomed, but right in its path an albatross flied. The ball and the bird both fell to the sea, with a tattered demalion smiling with glee. With a stomp and a curse, the gunner declared that he had never shot worse. <clears throat> now with the sound of a snap, the second round did begin, the head of the arrow piercing the fin of a well passing by. The gunner, not willing to lose just yet, took aim with a double load of powder. The ball flew well past the whale, splashing the sea foam beyond. Round two is mine, scraggle tag. Fire your last and be ready to give up your pearl, declared the gunner. <clears throat> Aha, for the last shot, however, I propose, <coughs> said the rapscallion, that we name not for distance, but for height, proffered the scoundrel. <laughs> the gunner eagerly accepted, knowing the power of his cannon, especially this time with a triple load of powder. <laughs> uh, could not be outshot. The vagabond loosed his arrow straight up. <clears throat> the arc of the spike reaching its apex and then thudding down to the deck. Without delay, the gunner upended his cannon and fired straight up into the clouds. Up and up, higher and higher, the cannonball flew until its roundness was lost from view, until down again it came. Down and down, the shot fell to the deck of the good ship Amelia, not slowing until it pierced through timbers, ballast and keel. The ship began to list and sink in quickly. She was in the drink, her mast barely seen above the waves. Well, your shot was highest, my friend, making you the victor, your prize well earned. <clears throat> I hopefully, and hopefully a lesson learned for when challenged by a wasserel, what, most, what goes up must come down. <laughs>